All right, guys, so today we are going to learn how to determine the relative concentrations of an acid and its conjugate base as a function of pH. And we're going to do that using what is known as the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So you guys might have briefly touched on that last semester, but we're going to dive a little bit deeper in it today. And I think the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and start with an example problem. So first I want you to pause this video and draw the acid dissociation of propanoic acid. And then I want you to tell me which species dominates at physiological pH, which is 7.4. Okay, let's see what you came up with. So we'll start by drawing our chemical reaction. So propanoic acid would be a three carbon carboxylic acid. And we're going to place our propanoic acid in water. And in this reaction, Propanoic acid will be the acid, and water will act as the base. So that means propanoic acid is going to donate a proton to water. Okay, so the chemical reaction we show here exists as an equilibrium, but we're not sure which side the equilibrium favors. So let's go ahead and use the henderson hasselbalch equation to figure that out. So let's plug in everything that we know. So pH, we know that we're doing this at physiological pH, so that would be 7.4. And we have our pKa, which is 4.87 for propanoic acid, plus the log of concentration of A- minus over the concentration of HA. Okay, so now we need to get the log of A- minus over HA by itself. So we're going to subtract 4.87 from each side. And we put that in our calculator and we get 2.53. Okay, so now we need to get rid of the log. So the inverse of the log function, the anti-log, is 10 to the power of. So we're going to do 10 to the power of both sides of this equation. So we'll go ahead and put 10 to the 2.53 in our calculator, and we get 338.844. So we'll round that to three sig figs, so 339. And since log and anti-log are inverse functions, they're going to cancel out and we're left with concentration of A minus over concentration of HA. Okay, so our math is done, but what does this tell us? How can you interpret this result? So would you agree that 339 is the same thing as 339 divided by one? So now we can interpret this answer as there are 339 A minus ions for every one HA. So to answer this question, which species is dominant at physiological pH? It would be by far A minus. Okay, so which species is HA and which species is A minus? So HA is always going to have one more proton than A minus. So that means our propanoic acid is HA and our propanoate ion is A minus. And one last thing before we finish up, let's go ahead and change our reaction arrow to better represent what is going on at pH 7.4. So this is an equilibrium reaction, so we need a double arrow. But since the reaction strongly favors the propanoic acid, the conjugate base side, we're going to shorten the arrow for the reverse reaction. And now it's clear from just looking at our chemical reaction that this reaction strongly favors the conjugate base propanoate ion. Okay, so let's try an example using a phenol. So we're going to write the acid dissociation of phenol. And this reaction has a Ka, an acid dissociation constant, of 1.1 times 10 to the negative 10. So I want you to do the same thing for this problem. Let's draw a chemical reaction and then use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to tell me which species dominates at physiological pH. Okay, let's see what you came up with. So we'll start by drawing our phenol. We're going to place it in water, and the phenol is going to act as the acid, and the water is going to act as the base. So phenol is going to donate a proton to water. Okay, now let's set up our Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So our pH is 7.4 but we don't have a pKa, so how do we get the pKa from just the acid dissociation constant? Well, generally in math, when you take the p of something, it means the negative log. So pKa will be just the negative log of our acid dissociation constant. 
So let's go ahead and throw that in our calculator and let's see what we get. And I get 9.96. Okay, so we can put that into our Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. And just like before, we want to try to isolate the log. So we're going to subtract 9.96 from both sides. And we throw that into our calculator and we get minus 2.56. Okay, now we're going to get rid of the log by taking the anti-log of both sides. So we're going to do 10 to the power of applied to both sides. Okay, so go ahead and put that in your calculator and you should get 0 0.00275. And then since log and 10 to the power of are inverse functions, we're left with just what's in the parentheses. And just like before, I'm going to divide the left side by one so that we have a pair of ratios. And now that our math is finished, let's go ahead and put this answer in words. So first we need to identify which species is HA and which species is A minus. So HA is always going to have one more proton than A minus, so that means phenol has to be our HA, and the phenolate ion has to be our A minus. So in this case, it looks like there are only 0 0.00275 A minuses for every one HA. So that means at physiological pH, this reaction heavily favors the HA form, heavily favors phenol. And let's go ahead and update our reaction arrow to show that. Okay, so we've already done examples with carboxylic acids and phenol, so now let's do an example using an amine. So this is going to be a base dissociation example. So I want you to draw the base dissociation of one butanamine, which has a pKa of 10.78, and I want you to answer these two questions. Okay, let's see what you came up with. So we'll start by drawing one butanamine, and we're going to place it in water. And in this equation, one butanamine is our base, so that means water has to act as the acid. So water is going to donate a proton to our amine. Okay, so since this is a base dissociation equation, how do we use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation? How do we determine which species is HA and which species is A minus? Well, just like before, HA is always going to have one more proton than A minus. And in this example, HA is going to be the azanium ion because it has one more proton than our one butanamine. Okay, so now let's plug everything into our Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So once again, we're working at physiological pH, so 7.4. Our pKa for one butanamine is 10.78 and we're going to subtract 10.78 from both sides, which gives us negative 3.38. And now we need to take the anti-log of both sides, so we're going to do 10 to the power of applied to both sides. So 10 to the negative 3.38 is 0 0.000417. So since 10 to the power of and log are inverse functions, we're left with just what is inside the parentheses. Okay, so we could finish with our math right here, but that 0 0.000417 is a really ugly number. And it's kind of hard to conceptualize what 0 0.000417 molecules looks like. So what we can do is take the reciprocal of both sides of our equation here. And now if we plug 1 divided by 0 0.000417 into our calculator, you should get 2,400. So that means there are 2,400 HAs for every one A minus. So we already determined that HA is our azanium ion and A minus is our one butanamine. So this reaction strongly favors the azanium ion form. So we'll go ahead and change our reaction arrow to reflect that. Okay, so what is the name of our azanium ion? So since there's only one carbon chain coming off of our nitrogen, the name of this ion is simply butyl azanium.